The Apollo 11 mission is considered one of humanity's greatest achievements. It involved Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin becoming the first individuals to walk on the moon. However, there was another astronaut named Michael Collins who played a crucial role in the mission, but is not as well known. Recently, Collins has revealed some mysterious secrets about the mission. He talks about encountering spooky phenomena on the moon. In this video, we will discuss the spooky secret that Collins exposes about their mission. The moon has always fascinated humans, and before modern technology, our ancestors studied its phases, eclipses, and associated it with myths and legends. The first missions to the moon were unmanned probes that provided valuable information about its conditions and geology. During the Cold War, the United States and the USR engaged in a space race, fueling the desire to send humans to the moon. In 1961, the Apollo mission was launched with the goal of sending a man to the moon and returning him safely by the end of the decade. The Apollo program involved various stages of development and testing, culminating in the historic Apollo mission. On July 20, 1969, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins made history as Armstrong took the first steps on the moon, while Aldrin joined him shortly after. They conducted experiments, planted the American flag, and then returned to Earth on July 24, 1969. Despite Collins' lesser-known role, he had a successful career as a test pilot and astronaut. After graduating from West Point in 1952, Collins joined the Air Force and served as a fighter pilot in the Korean War. He later attended the Air Force Test Pilot School and tested various aircraft. In 1963, Collins was selected by NASA as part of the astronaut group for the Gemini and Apollo programs. He flew his first space mission in 1966 as the pilot of Gemini 10, performing two rendezvous and spacewalks. Collins was initially assigned to Apollo 8, but had to undergo surgery and was reassigned to Apollo 11. His role as command module pilot was vital as he guided and maintained the command module Columbia while Armstrong and Aldrin explored the moon's surface. Collins was responsible for the docking procedure and had numerous tasks to complete during that time. Collins played a critical role in the rendezvous and docking procedures, which were crucial for the mission's success. Without his precise calculations and execution, the lunar module and the command module could have been separated, jeopardizing the mission. Collins also maintained the command module and ensured its systems were functioning optimally, including communication and life support. He acted as the main source of communication between the crew and mission control on Earth and sent valuable lunar observations in real time. Collins understood the psychological impact of his role and remained composed throughout the mission. He played a vital role in the trans-Earth injection, the maneuver that allowed the spacecraft to leave lunar orbit. During the trans-Earth injection, Collins played a crucial role in setting the course back to Earth. His technical skills and precision were key to its successful execution. Despite being physically separated from his crew, Collins embraced his role and showcased true sportsmanship and camaraderie. He represented the collaborative and collective effort of the Apollo 11 mission. While Collins spent time alone on the command module, orbiting the moon for 21 hours, he described the experience as serene solitude rather than stark loneliness. Cut off from his colleagues and mission control, he had ample time for introspection and contemplation. Despite the challenges and isolation, Collins embraced his role and played a significant part in the success of the mission. When Collins orbited behind the moon, he was unable to communicate with his colleagues or mission control due to the absence of terrestrial transmitters and receivers. This unique situation made Collins the first person to experience the moon's far side completely alone. Unlike the near side, the far side is radio quiet, freed from radio frequency interference and human activity. This makes it an ideal location for radio astronomy, allowing weak signals from the sun or other sources to be detected without interference. China's Chang'e IV mission in 2019 landed a rover on the far side, specifically in the von Kerman crater within the South Pole Aiken Basin. 
One of the mission's objectives was to conduct low-frequency radio astronomical observations using a small antenna. The rover relies on a relay satellite orbiting the Moon-Earth L2 Lagrange point, where gravitational forces are balanced. Despite the communication challenges, Collins found moments of tranquility and peace while experiencing the solitude of the Moon's far side. Floating in space, he gained a new perspective and appreciation for the beauty of Earth. Collins often stayed busy with mission-related tasks, but he treasured the quiet moments and relished the unique views of the Moon's far side. As he orbited the Moon, Collins witnessed the Earth rising along the lunar horizon, a small and fragile blue dot against the vastness of space. This awe-inspiring view, known as the overview effect, made Collins realize the interconnectedness of all life on Earth and the fragility of our planet. These revelations deepened Collins's commitment to environmental responsibility, and he became an ardent advocate for Earth conservation after the Apollo 11 mission. He emphasized the importance of protecting our delicate planet and maintaining the balance of nature. He expressed hope that someday all political leaders would view our world from his point of view, he hoped that the view would influence our political leaders to make decisions that would protect our planet rather than destroy it. Furthermore, the solitude LED Collins to grapple with existential questions causing more paradigm shifts in his beliefs and reshaping his worldview in his autobiography, titled Carrying the Fire Collins pondered the meaning of the universe and the role of human beings within it. The seemingly otherworldly experience shaped his belief in a universe Designed with purpose and order before this journey into space, Collins was not an overly religious man, but his journey into space enhanced his spiritual outlook, emphasizing an organized cosmos rather than chaotic randomness. Being the loneliest man alive for nearly a day was never a burden to Michael Collins. He wore the station like a badge of honor, and what an honor it was for in that journey Collins found the beauty in space and got to ponder questions that form the basis of life. Who are we? What is our role in the grand scheme of things? How best can we protect our world from imminent demise? These are the same fundamental questions that have plagued humanity for centuries. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, click on the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.